smoking. I told y'all it was gonna be a slow day. ran up down here real quick with the side scan on see if you can't see anything so we're spot locking here we got some live shrimp see how it is may switch to the inside i just don't know if these black drum are pushing out when the tide changes or if they're coming up the beach and going in and feeding so we just got to figure it out that's what we're about to do so right now we're using a four out j see if we can hold the shrimp Said avoid. That's the brain right there. So wiggle it. Go oh, bam. Right now I just got a I don't know, eighth ounce or quarter ounce jig or split shot. Thirty pound floral. Five, ten minutes, Jamie's hooked up. Sorry, moron. Nice. With a black drum. Target species. Look at the baby turtle. Yep. You want me to just sling him in? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know how well He's barely hold that film. I got it. Oh, that's the No. Black drum. Exactly what we're looking for. Ba Boom! Ashley's hooked up. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Right, oh, okay. Don't let him pick your ass. Oh. <laughs> Jig it. No. I don't know. It, it feel, felt tiny when uh, I had it, but like drum. Umbrio Uno for Ashley. Woo. Let's line up. That is a black drum. Hang on. No. It's a puppy. It's a puppy. I could have flipped that one. Hey. He's a keeper. If this is a black drum, it's fucking huge. Ready, Red, Nick Redderson? Yeah. Revive his ass. Red truck. Huh? Red truck. Wrong species. Hold up. He's gonna let me out. Whee! 
Another one. I did that. We've got another one. Yeah, he's fucking in hell, bud. Watch the toes. This is what happens when you catch a bunch of fish, a bunch of boats fucking show up around you. Yeah. Moron over here, smoking them. said I'm gonna go under the boat so when a fish is going under the boat like that you need to put your rod in the water and do exactly what he's doing so you don't get fucking broke off hello you want I was about to say when are you gonna put it yeah. Got the coolest pants ever. I don't know if I knew that when I bought them. Shop saltwatercowboy.biz. <laughs> no one right around the rod too. Smoking them. She told y'all it was gonna be a slay day. Ashley's on now. You got a good one. Pump and wine, pump and wine. Got him. Sorry, yeah. It's a hammer. So we're using clam along with shrimp. But our shrimp are, we used all the big ones already, so now we're using the smaller ones. We're putting two on at a time and it's working. That boat's not catching anything. That boat's not catching anything. The one back there is. They're in a competition with us right now, I guess. So we're winning. I think we've got nine, eight or nine black drum in there. Limits five per person. We can have 20. I'm sure we'll stop here soon because we don't really need a whole lot more. Fucking straight putting in work on these things. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Number three. Number three. Oh shit, Kendall's got one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stingray. Oh no. How in the fuck? He snagged him. He didn't even eat it. Probably got a good hook. Yeah. On the goop. So I couldn't find a bigger jig head, so I did what I did in the other video and put a weight on it, and it's working. Ah, I like to do it this way. Retarded as shit.
So, fucking jig head with a little shrimp skis. And engage. It's probably about the same size as everything else. Catch another one and we're done. Another but, one? <laughs> well, I mean, we're not keeping it. <laughs> We've got more than enough for friends and family and friends of family. <laughs> there is so many fish, it is stupid. Well, that's a big one. We should keep it. <laughs> Since he swallowed my hook, I'm fine with it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Jesus. So I know you guys don't know how long we've been here, but how long have we been here for? Hour? Hour, hour, hour and 15? Not even 1 o'clock yet. Yeah, it's not even 1 o'clock. Tide changed at what, 10? No. Well, it's later now. Oh, yeah, so like 11. It's just now starting to form. Yeah, as though we've literally been fishing hour and a half maybe it's on fire it's what december or january 8th yep, yep. So, get out here get him oh, oh the prize catch yeah. yeah mr pecan wants some we'll give you some uh clam to tide you over while you wait you don't even want it you are picky. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, you idiot. You lost it. Dummy. Dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Freaking day. Holy crap. Tons and tons of fishies. It was awesome. Back at the ramp, head back to the house, clean the fish. So we'll see you then. Then we'll see you in the kitchen. So back at the house. Got our blackest drummist. Got five of mine in the bucket between me and Ashley, so we end up keeping 15. So it's five for Jamie, five for Kendall, and five split between me and Ashley. So uh, I'm probably just gonna show you a cleaning one because I'm sure you've seen it a billion times, unless I get a bunch of requests to see cleaning fish. 
I'm just gonna do it quick, show you a rack quick, and then get straight up into the cook. Sun's probably kind of bad, but basically it started out like anything else. Pop a hole there. Probably won't go through that. I'll go up first. Nice sharp knife helps. This thing's got some gnarly scales. But pretty much most of all my fish I outline first. A little harder when they're uh, this cold. Oh, the camera keeps falling over. And basically, stay on the backbone. Get a little bit in. Once you get that flap up, it's like butter. Butter dude. Rock that. Cock that. And I'm kind of curious to see if this thing's full of worms. Because usually black drum have a bunch of worms. Ooh, knife's a little sharp. But make a nice solid fillet and cut these. Well, usually easier to skin it right quick. Could leave it on the half shell if you wanted to cook it that way. I'm not for that. I take that skin off. Put it in the boot. Rip these pin bones. I kind of angle my knife out, and that gets those pin bones seem to kind of go out a little bit. And then run this one pretty much straight down. Cut that off. All the rib bones are already out because I went over them. Don't feel any other bones. I hate bones in my fish, so I really clean the crap or make sure there's no bones. Then, that is one clean flick. Same thing on this side. A lot of times what I'll do too is outline both sides, get it to right where I'm ready to take the fillet off. That way the fish isn't all wonky like this because it's missing that side of his body. So this side's acting weird, but. So usually I'll do the uh, outline completely down first I just forgot this time it's been a hot minute since I cleaned the fish yo had to make a stupid garage door video just to have something to fill in a little bit I just want to make fishing videos all the time or shenanigan videos those are fun down true a sharp knife. Sharp knife, bruh. My neighbors probably think I'm nuts out here mumbling to myself. Bruh. So I got a canal over there. I dumped these in. Poked the eyeballs out so the neighbors don't get mad in me book it so this piece is sticking up so I'm gonna go ahead and level that a little bit I said this knife is razor sharp so it cut through more than what I wanted bring it over to an edge or something just so you can get your knife over it and 
down, so I usually line it up like that. Rip her down. Wham, bam. Thank you, knife out. Man. Oh, nope, sorry. Man. That is the fillet done. Freaking pretty awesome for a black drum. I don't see a single worm in this one. And I know the other ones that they clean, there's no worms in those, so pretty stoked on that. So we got our beautiful black drum. We're supposed to be on a diet and eating only chicken today, but we're subbing it out with some fish, so we're gonna do some super light seasonings. And go light with this gator hammock stuff. There's pretty much zero everything in it. So sprinkle a little bit of that on now. Kitchen sleepy dova. Sprinkle a little more. So now we've got a little bit of seasoning on there. Not much of that left. And I'm gonna put a little ponzu on it. It's not really a little, but whatever. Just kind of pat that around on there. And then some old parsley. Flakies. That's pretty much all we're gonna put on it. We got some veggies going. We got some yuckiness. And then there's some more yuckiness. But we really haven't had real food in a while, so excited right, so I'm gonna get a pan load on there and get that cooking so I got some butter melted and some garlic in there minced garlic and chuck it in let it roll Probably take about three or four minutes each side. That is it. So it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip her over. I think I had the heat a little too hot, kind of burnt some things, but whatever. Anything is gonna be good right now. I promise you that. Watching some deer meat for dinner. Chilling. There's taste tester. Mm, another couple minutes. So that is the finished product. Show you. Mm -hmm. Now the real test. Stamp approved. Number two's creeping up. Mm -hmm. You shy? Mm hmm. Shaking his head, yeah. And they just ate their food. This one's scavenging. Let's see if he'll eat it. No, you want to be a scavenger? No, taste tester number one is closing in on taste tester number two's misfortune. And it's gone. And so is that. That's why he's fat. So, we'll see 
how Ashley likes it. I already know I like it. It's good. Really good. I like that seasoning. Don't get much fresher than that. Shit is awesome. Hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely more how I want all my videos to be. Freaking fish after fish after fish after fish. But it all can't be like that. But this one was. So hopefully we can make 2023 be like that. So until next time, like shop saltwatercowboy.biz.